Hey everyone, my name is Marcelo and I am a huge fan of Anbot and I have been using it pretty much since its beta stages. Today, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on this amazing tool to help you get started. So, you've just installed Anambot for the first time and you're very excited to drastically improve your workflow and... Oh my god, so many bugs! Stop! Breathe! In this video, I'm gonna go through and talk about these bad boys. The almighty tween machine, your personal helper select sets for quick selecting bookmarks, the very handy mirror tool, and the powerful temporary pivot. So sit tight! and enjoy the ride. First, I'm going to talk about the select sets. With these, you can save bookmarks of a series of controls for quick use. The same way as it works for Maya, you can shift click to add to your current selection and control click to remove it from the selection. Another really cool feature is that if you're working with similar rigs, you can create a selection set for one character and then use that same selection on other characters by enabling the smart select sets. And a little bonus tip here that is really useful. You can create sets not only for controllers, but also geometry. Why would you want to create sets for geometry, you ask? Well, the select sets also allows you to easily isolate a set by control shift clicking it. Moving on, the tween machine is your best friend for creating breakdown poses. With a simple click or a click and drag, you can create a pose that favors the previous or next pose. Combining this with select sets for specific parts of the character, you can have those separately favoring more or less than other parts. Here, I am delaying the left arm by favoring the keys to the first pose. Another advantage of having select sets for specific parts is that you can, for example, select a series of controllers for a left arm and then use a mirror tool to mirror it to the other side. And one more tool that I would like to showcase here today is the powerful temporary pivot. With this bad boy, you can select a bunch of controllers and then rotate them in relation to the last selected object. This is great for saving time, say if you want to rotate a hand based on the tip of a finger. Easy peasy. So with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Make sure you explore these tools in depth there are so many other possibilities of ways to use them. If you just installed Anambot, try hovering your mouse over the tools. You should be able to see a GIF tooltip showcasing how that tool behaves. And if it's not showing up, you can double check if it's activated here. Also, if you want to really dive in and just see what all the tools do, hop on over to this link. Trust me, you won't regret it. Lastly, I strongly recommend becoming a part of the Anambots Facebook group. There are a lot of really cool people there that will be more than glad to help you out with any questions you have. And if you're having any technical difficulties, make sure to check out the official help documentation for Anambot at help.anambot.ca. Take it easy and happy animating!